love coffee, I love tea. I love the Java Java and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the Java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. I love Java sweet and hot. Whoops, Mr. Moto, I'm a coffee pie. Shoot me the pot, now pour me a shot. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. Oh, slip me a slug from the wonderful mug. I got a rug that I'm stuck in the jug. A slice of onion and a raw one. Raw one. Wait a wait a percolator. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the java java and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. Ooh, Boston beans, soy beans, green beans, cabbage and greens. I'm not keen up on a bean unless it is the cherry, cherry bean, boy. I love coffee, I love tea. I love the Java Jazz and it loves me. Coffee and the tea and the Java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, yeah. I love Java, sweet and hot. Whoops, Mr. Moto, I'm a coffee pot. Shoot me the pot and I pour me a shot. A cup, a cup. A cup. Oh, throw me that slug from the wonderful mud. I'll cut a rug till I'm snug in the jug. Drop a nickel in a pot, Joe. I take them a slow. Wait a wait a percolator. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the Java Java and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the Java and me. Yeah. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. Boom. When I'm not playing silent hair, I take a book down from the shelf. Stop it. And what with programs on the air, I keep pretty much to myself, Mr. Saturday Day. Heard the crowded the floor. Couldn't bear it without you. Don't get around much anymore. Oh, I visit the club, guide as far as the door. They'd have asked me about you, don't get around much anymore. Oh, darling, I guess my mind's more than easy. But nevertheless, watch their up memories, been invited on days. Might have gone, but what for? Awfully different without you. Don't get around much anymore.
I got yesterday. It, Tell me. The best one I got was when uh, the clerk said that she's gonna give me a meeting on on Saturday. A meeting? A meeting, yeah. A meeting to discuss to, to discuss my 
to discuss my barbershop and get a license for it. I forgot about that. It's it's very important to me. And, well, I think, I think I might get it, you know. Hell yeah, you got the money for it? I got the money for it, yeah. Just sitting in my pocket. I just gotta just gotta last until Saturday and then I can then I can pay it. Howdy. Well whatever you do, don't get robbed. Well I, well, I will try. You got any advice on that? Stab him and run. Well, All right. stabbing now? Easy now. Not us. I, oh no, well you ain't robbing me, right? No. Hell no, I'm law. No, I, don't I like my job. Well, well, I, I'm at the ready anyway. Okay, yeah. As long as you're, as long as you're ready and everything, yeah. I'm real ready to stab anyone who tries to rob me. <laughs> well, punch him in the face as well. That also works. Yeah, well, that, once they's on the floor, maybe I'll punch him on the face, but I can't make sure they're on the floor first. I, I want to kick him in the face at that point. Hell yeah. Evening. You gotta be able to shoot a gun when you're low. Mm, it ain't all about the gun, it's how you talk to them and treat them. Well, I was just thinking, I'm standing up here like I was low. I, what else would I, I need? But then I realized I don't shoot guns, I, I only use my knife, so. What do you not shoot guns for? I, I, I ain't never needed it. You never killed an animal? No, I with no gun, no. So you're pretty good with a knife, huh? I would say any sharp implement I can handle pretty well. It comes from being a barber, you know. Or you don't want to hear your prey scream. Well, that's half the fun, ain't it? Oh, so you do like hearing people scream? People? I, I, didn't, I didn't know you said people. Was you trying to entrap me there? No, sir. Oh, you a sly one. I gotta watch out for you. Got that silver tongue, my guy. Now nah, you you'll never catch me with a simple trick of a simple word trick. I kind of figured it won't. Would that have counted as a Those over confession? Boys been seen rustling again up at Painted Sky Ranch. Confession. What's wrong with this world? Why did you already slit somebody's throat while you was cutting their hair? I told you, you ain't gonna get me with just the word games. I mean, it ain't a word game, it's just a no sir. You ain't paid to stand around like saloon whores. I mean, I can't arrest you. Did you do it here? Do what? You know, cut somebody's hair here. I ain't never cut no one's hair here, no. 
Oh. What about New Austin? Never. Never Valentine? Been. I've never been on New Austin. I've been to Valentine, yeah. So you have cut somebody's hair there? No, no, sir. No, sir. I ain't got a license for it. That would be illegal. What about what about Rhodes? I've been to Rhodes, yeah. Saint Denis? I've been, uh, yeah, I've been there. But you never cut nobody's hair in this state. I, huh? no. So I'm telling you, I would never cut hair unless I had a license to or, or I was allowed in some other way. But that said, if, if you're looking for a haircut. No, I like to own the shit. I don't need no haircut, buddy. Have you already talked to a blacksmith? Have I talked to a blacksmith? Yeah. Why would I have business with a blacksmith for? They can make uh, they can make you some scissors with engravings and shit. Like you know, maybe carve your initials on it or put something funny on it, like snip snip. God damn! I need to find me a blacksmith. Put the idea in his head, Walter. I know I do. We got one in town. Uh, Marcus Fines. I don't know if he's awake though.
What's your name again, Fran? Yeah, no. Oh, I'm Herman Proudfoot. Uh, and and I, I hope to be the barber here. Did you say Proudfoot? Yeah, like, you know, if you had an especially nice foot and you wanted to show people, then you'd, you'd be proud of it. I, I'm Proudfoot. Which foot's your favorite, left or right? Oh, I like my left foot, so. Why's that? What? I, I ain't trimmed the other one recently. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty simple, right? <laughs> but that's why so I need some scissors. So you t <laughs> Oh, give me a <laughs> uh, you got him good with that one. <laughs> Get your shit together, Ranger. So you're telling me that you trim one foot at a time? <laughs> it's very hard work. You need a break in between, don't you? I've just always cared about it a little bit more. I hope our past never crawls, Proudfoot. I swear to God. <laughs> You're gonna get shot by Proudfoot one of these days, Wilder. Tell me about it, man. I, I don't use a gun, sir. I don't feel like that either. He's gonna, he's gonna shoot you down and he's gonna be like, Proudfoot shot you this day. <laughs> And then it's punished me, he's gonna make you lick his boots or something. Oh no, I take the boots off. <laughs> no, I'm good. Yeah. No, I'm absolutely oh, fine. Not shit. Man, this place goes from bad to worse. Oh my goodness. Yo, uh, any closer to arresting them horses that kicked in the saloon windows? No, didn't know nothing about it. And it, apparently, there's two horses at large that done it vandalism. Did anybody report it to the law? I, I, I do not know. It's none of my business. Oh shit! I ain't really law. I'm just here to help them. I can't do nothing until they deputize me. I feel the same way. I, I can't do anything until they deputize me either. What fucker? You know the rules. Father, I'm pretty sure by all definition you can do as you please because a sheriff of this lovely county has given you permission. Has she? I don't know, has she? I would hope so. I don't even fucking know. I really don't. I know every time I'm around, I have to get deputized. Okay, well, I'll make sure you need to. Do not deputize me. I'm not deputizing you right now. Let me do it ranger style. You, you do it ranger style, father. I'm gonna get shot the fuck down, that's what's on. <laughs> And then I'm gonna have to shoot someone else. Shit, you don't be the first one shot down. Then I'm gonna have to, like, try to protect you, and then I'm gonna get shot. Probably. You can deputize me if you want. You know, last time we deputized somebody, they actually stabbed a motherfucker, and I watched it. Yep. Is oh, so there's, there's precedent. Fire? What? So there's precedent for it. I, I guess. It's either you fellas want to fish. No, I suck at fishing. No, yeah, no, do you, I have a fish. Would you like it? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm good, buddy. Yeah, I got my cans here. I, I got two fish, uh, and one is for me, and one is for whoever wants a, a fish. Your left foot. Yeah. Oh, that is mine. 
Yeah, it's for it's for your left foot. That's why you get two. <laughs> well, you heard about the wedding party of that bush it, is, it is a nice foot. That ain't why I'm called Proudfoot. You know, that's just a coincidence. Why are you called Proudfoot? That was my daddy's name. Well, okay, that makes sense. I, I think it was his daddy's name as well. Probably. He taught me how to barber. Do you got any hair, Mr. Proudfoot? Oh yeah, you got some hair, don't you? Shit, you got more chops than you do hair. What? You know, I I don't just do the top of your head. I can do your face as well. I, I'm very good at mustaches and beards and, and whatever else grows out of it. Whatever else grows out of it. You know, like eyebrows and I trim your nose hairs if it's getting too long. If you if you're that kind of age. Some people say it's very manly to have long nose hairs, though. I've never heard that day in my life. Hmm? Yeah, they do. They do. Flynn, you got nose hair? No. Are you sure? Yes. What a child. <laughs> okay. You got belly button hair? Back to work. A little bit. Yeah, you're still a child. Hey, do me a favor, Flynn. What? Rub behind your ear and tell me if it's wet. What? Just do it. Why? Just, just rub behind your ear and tell me if it's you wet. I don't trust you, It ain't nothing bad. It just tell me that you're still wet behind the ear. No, I'm not. I also do scalp massage. You do what? Scalp massage. I I get some oil yeah, on my fingers. You with that lack of hair you do. No, no. I, I, to that scalp. I, oh, I offer it as a service as part of my barbering. Uh, I put some oil on my fingers and I get my head, my fingers right into that hair and I massage that scalp and it makes people feel like, like they're in heaven. Helps your hair grow too. Huh. Well, you heard about the wedding party. So you tell me if I massage my head, it'll make my hair grow. With these special tonics and and, and and special products that you, you put on your hands first. Is there all that snake oil in your hair while there? Oh, it's not snake oil, sir. This is this is premium European stuff. Now you know how hairy Europeans are. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty fucking hairy. I feel like you've killed a lot of people. Is that like one of them police hunches that, that y'all have? Mm, I mean, I've been around a while. And it just how you phrase stuff, it's just like, yeah. What you want way if I phrased anything any different to anybody else in this town? I just, I was listening to you last night in the bar and how we're up here talking now i just i don't know but like i said i can't do nothing 
and everything else. I mean, if you do something, that's up to you. I never shot nobody, I promise you. 100%. You ain't got to shoot nobody. I didn't say nothing about shooting. You know, there's multiple ways of killing somebody. You ain't always got to shoot them. What, what kind of ways are there? Choking, uh, let's see, stabbing, <laughs> fighting. You can hit them so hard it busts their fucking skull. Stepping on their head, uh, bashing their head in with something. Uh, you know, you name it. by pushing him off a bridge I can do it you ever push anybody off a bridge no I don't think I ever been on a bridge hmm must have been someone else must have been someone else you the one that recommended it <laughs> You know how they said that curiosity kills? I heard that. Yeah, it's it's true. You ain't paid to stand around like saloon whores. You know, you know that mud what stabbed uh uh Mr. Fines? Yeah. Apparently, Mr. Fines was conspiring to have her shot before she did it. Sounds like an act of self-defense, if you ask me. So he was talking about somebody shooting her or him shooting her before she stabbed him? That's what I heard. I'm just did a humble bartender. Uh, I ain't even a bartender. I was standing in the bar when I heard it. <laughs> did, um, <laughs> did she say that I'm going to stab you to make him say that? No, what the, all I heard, and this is after the fact, mind you, was that, that she overheard him conspiring, and that's what led her to believe that she should, you know, take the first step and protect herself. Mm, that makes sense. It's a pickerel. It's a very small kind of fish, but it's real good fried. So what other things do murderers say, Mr. Arm Militia Man? Is, this, is there like a book when you're learning to police the it's got a list of things that people who's killed someone they always say?
Poor old Pat O'Keegan's got his wolf loose and slow. Fell asleep, belly up in a pigsty. Not like it's the first time around these parts. Or shit, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Oh, it was a long time ago, I don't remember. It's hey, right. brother. Howdy. All I heard was something about military militia. Well, that's you, right? He was asking you how you know what a murderer says. Damn, that's pretty weird. I've never had that answer or that question asked. I'm a very inquisitive man. Very suspicious, man, I tell you. Suspicious? I ain't suspicious of nothing. I just let the world wash past me like I was standing in a river. It's a pretty horse. What the hell you do, Wong? Alright, good talk. Hell yeah, you did. Shit, that man. Oh, trust me, I can tell you apart from them. Oh, trust me, once you tell people your name, they'll be like, oh yeah, you can't be a criminal. And the sounds of it, Sheriff. Um, Sheriff, you ain't no Sheriff. It's your wife that's the Sheriff. I remember that. Uh, by the sounds of it, uh, you judge a murderer by some of the words they say and a criminal, whether, whether their name sounds like a criminal's name. What? No. Everybody knows Flynn here. Oh, Flynn. Well, your name's Flynn now. You definitely ain't a criminal. What? Yeah, you, you have a good point. <laughs> you know what? Nah, that's funny. Hell so, Flynn. What? Fl the the flying Flynn can't be a criminal? No. Howdy. Well, you know what? That's good. I didn't really plan to go down that route in my life. Good deal, Flynn. I'm gonna tell you now, it ain't fun, dude. I don't think it is, considering how, I mean, shit, they may shoot me up a little bit, but, like, they, uh, 
They gotta spend the time behind bars. Well, I mean, that's the time to sit here and think about your actions. Yeah. Maybe they want my fish. Howdy, friends. Hello. Uh, would could I interest either of you in a fish? I caught two, and I only need one. A fish. Fish, yeah, it's, it's just a little pickering, but if you fry it up in butter, it's, it's all so good. I've never had fish before, I don't think. Not that kind, at least. Oh, would you like to try it? Sure. Y you have to cook it. It, it ain't cooked yet, but because I just caught it today. <laughs> That's okay. I believe we have a, uh, a stove in the... Um bunkhouse yeah we set did up. I figured out how to use it thank oh, you okay there you go uh, oh you working on the ranch mm-hmm oh uh, yeah oh it's sad very excited the, very. the fans is a, a, a very fine people if you excuse the well I'm sure everyone makes that joke <laughs> this is the first time I've heard it oh well in that case it is mine and mine alone Uh, oh, you just got into state then, I suppose. The, the first stop is so so often the ranch because th th that's what they say. That the, they want to provide a place for for people to to have a job right away. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I am four days off the boat, I think. Exciting! I, I myself am only five days off the boat, maybe oh, wow. six. I, I'm, my name is Herman Proudfoot. I, I'm. I, I want to be the barber here, but I, I need a meeting with uh, the clerk, and she's gonna give me a, a, a business license, and then I'm gonna run the, the barber shop just around the corner, and it's gonna oh. be real good. I'm very good at my job. That's exciting. I think it's very very exciting. interesting. So, you you know, uh, if you was ever in Blackwater, and, and by the sounds of it, you, you stay pretty close, and you can come by to Herman's Hairdos, and and and, uh, and, and I'll cut your hair, I'll style your hair. Uh, I even done a short course in uh, makeup, uh, and uh, I quite like to think that I'm very good at that as well. <laughs> okay. I'll be but, sure to stop by when you have your um shop up and running well i have the meeting on saturday so i'm hoping that maybe even on saturday i'll be able to have the grand opening uh, and, and in oh. fact i need to speak to, to your boss mr fines because apparently he can make he can craft some some personalized scissors i quite like the idea of that well we haven't seen him well at least i haven't seen him around i don't think Anna has neither since we woke up around the same time, but we're out looking for um, some of the ranch folk. <laughs> Just stopped in uh, Blackwater to pick up my new horse. It's a beauty. Thank you. 
I, I wouldn't get any closer though. I, I, I don't really have a thing for horses. Luckily, sort of she's uh, she's very friendly, at least. Um, yeah, uh, I can't trust that. I'm I'm so sorry. No, I don't mean no, nothing against okay. your horse. It, like it's very pretty, but I would it's rather right. walk. I understand that um some people don't really favor them. They are very large and can be kind kind of scary. I don't think she's offended by it neither. She's just happy to be out and about. What one of your That's names? What one, one of you? You said one of you was Anna. Uh huh. Um, Anaya's Belvedere. Anaya's. Yeah, it's very nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm Oliver Oakley. Or Ol you can call me Ollie. Ollie, it's very good to meet you. It's good to meet you too. You, you just you just arrived as well um i've actually been here for a couple of months now um oh, but then you should be giving us the grand tour uh, i i know a, i know a few places around here i mostly stayed down in new austin uh only recently um have i moved up this way to stay permanently at the fines ranch you know, you know, I've only heard good things about New Austin. It's... It can be uh, a good place. Um, and it can... Be a bad place sometimes. It depends on the folk that you surround yourself with. Well, I suppose Blackwater will be like that as well. I was able to Black talk to some police just then. It's oh, it's been interesting the last couple of days. Uh, a couple of things have happened, but well, oh, since yesterday, it's been quite calm, at least. I seen them windows that their horses kicked in. It was only one window when I came back into town. And then I seen yesterday the second window went out. Right. So I, sp I spoke to the fans, and, and he said it was a different horse. So I don't know what he has done to the population of Blackwater's horses for them to have such a grudge, but they have a real grudge. I think they're just not a fan of those windows. Maybe they wanted them remodeled, and so they smashed them. Mr. Fines, um, Marcus, Mr. Marcus told me it was a horse that kicked a person through a window. Oh, so. Oh, that would have been a sad. <laughs> Maybe the horse had something against him. Well, I won't keep you. You was clearly in a private okay. conversation. I won't keep you anymore. I'm so glad to have met you, both Ollie and Anna. Do you mind, Anna? I don't mind. Anias. You you prefer Anias? Either one works. I'm not picky. Okay, well. Just put a bit of butter on that fish. And sure. If if you if you got salt and pepper, that always helps. But keeping it nice and simple, maybe some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. oh, it, it's very very special. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Some more cigars.
I was, trying, today? I was trying to wave to you, but you got here too quick, and, and now it looks like I'm waving to somebody else. <laughs> well, you could be waving at Wilder. Oh, we've already met. I don't, I don't fancy saying hello to him again. <laughs> How are oh, you doing you, today? Oh, I'm very good, but I will be even better when, once I present you with this. Oh, <gasps> you got my shoe. Brewed it up special. I asked for two, I had <laughs> one myself, and you know what? You are completely right. It is very special. It is very special. Also, his meat stew with the extra spice from New Austin is great too. Oh, I'll ask him about that next time. You should. It's the reason I come down here for stew, because it's the best stew. Did I tell you my wonderful news? What's new? What, what news is that? I have a meeting with Meriwether Kitty on uh, Saturday and she's going to present me as long as I pass the interview, I suppose, mm -hmm. with, with a business license. I'm sure you'll pass with flying colours. Well, I can't imagine what kind of questions she would want to ask me that I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I know all the different hair colours and uh, I know long hair and short hair. Uh, very short hair. I know very long hair. I know uh, medium short hair. I know them all. That's good. Have you been farming? Uh, not today. I uh, had a break. I have like seven dollars on me and the rest is up in Valentine. Still need to Are pay you... that sign off. <sighs> you, need, you need to go to Valentine? Uh... I can get my car, it's just I don't know, I, I, the only place I know to go to grow crops is uh, out in out near Valentine. But if you need some company, just let me know. And if not, mm. then I hope you uh, have some good cropping. <laughs> yeah, I still need to pay the law back for my um, incident with Jacob. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. That joy is all forgiven now. A long time in the past. Mm. <laughs> we'll see. Right, let me go to the telecom station. Do you want to walk with me? I do. I do. I bought myself. I, I splashed out on a on a business outfit. It's Ooh. got a little little tie and trousers. Yeah. I think I look quite good. You do. Well, no, you ain't you seen it yet. Ah, you look wonderful anyway. Ethan, I've got a question for you when you've done reading your telegrams. Say again? I've got a question for you when you're done reading your telegrams. Okay. Yeah, I 
Oh. Uh, you had a question? Uh, yeah, I handed money to King, was it yesterday? Did, did he write it down anywhere or did, did he give it to the sheriff? Let me see. Well, Mr. July King, he's, he's my friend. <laughs> Is he now? He's the only person who took my fish. <laughs> he did not write it down. But he should be awake in a couple hours, or so he's told me. So uh, we can confirm with him then. And see yeah, what... I think it was like twenty-five dollars. I know it's not a lot, but I just want to make sure someone knows I paid. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll get a, that at least confirmed, and we'll go from there. Thank you. And uh, nice to meet you, sir. Oh, you know. yeah. Is it is it Ethan? That is me. This is my oh. uncle. This is your uh, uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my name is Herman Proudfoot. Herman. It's nice to meet you, Herman. It's a pleasure, pleasure to meet you. And uh, I'm actually um, hoping to open up the, the barbershop in, in Blackwater. Uh, I have a meeting oh. in, uh, on Saturday with Miss Meriwether King. And mm -hmm. uh, if she gives me a business license, then I will be opening it up. And once I do, I can sort that out for you, that hair. No problem. <laughs> Hello. Howdy. Howdy. Hello. I mean, there's nothing your heart at the is very moment pretty, wrong with my name? hair, but I uh, appreciate it. I'm mm -hmm. glad to see that it'll have some business. His name is Flax. There ain't nothing wrong with your hair, but there ain't nothing wrong with making it even better. <laughs> I see. I will uh, keep that in mind uh, once you meet up with uh, Meriwether and see about getting that situated. Well, I look forward to your custom. All right. Hello. If that was to me, sorry. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> it was very rude, Ethan. Just walking straight I, past I, him. I, I, Hi, I, Ethan. I, I'm not you? used to. Yes, I. Uh, I'm a, I know you too, Holly. Jeez. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, doing pretty good. Uh, Ezra and Dove and I ran. Uh, uh, oh, fuck we went hey, slow down the horse in town, horses. please. Thank you. Uh, so, Dove is still putting your head down in their uh, inroads, but Ezra's back at the uh, at the um, ranch. Oh, my fucking guy. Sorry. i um, just got a couple All things right. in my mind at the moment. You okay? Uh, yes. It's more of just trying to focus. Uh, gotcha. we'll be fine. But uh, I'll probably come to buy a patrol in a bit. See how okay. you guys are doing at the ranch. Alright, well, we'll see you around. We'll yeah. be heading over there. Alright, well, give the uh, cows a good smacking for me. They ran me I will not. I'll say, I'll say hi for you. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. I'm pretty good, how about you? Good morning, sir. I done pretty good, I ain't no law. Stand off against them, law. There's three of them and two of us, and, and I don't shoot a gun. We're gonna have to be clever about this. You can just run and climb on the rooftops, it's fine. Well, maybe, really, maybe, maybe really you can, my dear. I can't. I, I'm not sure if I'm suited for such pursuits. Hmm? 
I, I feel like Flynn on the end didn't get the memo about like the browns and greens of uniform today. Mm -mm. Didn't ask either. Have you done any more fishing yet? Caught two fish today, and uh, uh, <gasps> that lady and fella today they just went past with the spotty horses. They took oh, yeah. one of them. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah, so I made a new friend, and Anais. <laughs> I think it's Anais. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Sounds like a French name to me. Oh yeah, it does. It does. Exotic. Yeah. Flynn, where's your badge? I said Flynn. Wow. I was hoping to see that, uh, Morris lady again. Uh, she she was acting oh, very funny uh, last night. Mm. What, what what was she doing? She just every so often she would just stop what she was doing or what she was saying and just stare, mm. not uh, do nothing. Mm. That's kind of sinister, I think. Yep. I want to know how she got all the scars on her face. Well, that is the other reason I want to see her. I've been building up to asking. She don't seem like the kind of person that gets offended very easily. Should have busted the window and jumped through. <laughs> Now, Mr. Ethan, uh, Deputy Ethan, can I ask you a question? Um, That'd be right. $3. You, you can stay there because it concerns the other two deputies as well. Um, one nope. of whom is not a deputy. But uh, I, I will speak loud enough so they can hear as well. Now, now, uh, Mr. Wilder said, uh, the way that I speak makes him think that, that I am a murderer. Um, what? Wilder? Have you noticed any... Have you noticed any kind of things that I said that made you think that I was a murderer or anything like that? No. Not that I was looking for it. You hear that, Ranger? No, because well, he ain't speaking up. You're being rude, Wilder. Am I being rude? Call him Deputy a murderer. Deputy well, Ethan I mean, said... He could be. Mm -mm. I mean, Miss, uh, Miss Mud, you could be. Mm. This lady right here on the horse could be. Oh, wow. What the <laughs> fuck? That is a fancy trick. It is. What? No. I mean, unless you feel like you need to show us something. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Okay. Uh, I, I may have come across something by accident, so... What is it? Um, 
it is north of Blackwater across the river. You know that one shack? There's oh, something. I, I was just there. Okay. What did you find, miss? She ain't low, you ain't gotta tell her. <laughs> Quit being nosy, Miss Mud. Nope, I can do what I want, not breaking any laws. Oh god, uh, why did you go? I stopped you. Why are you like tall? <laughs> Your horse knows some fancy tricks. Yeah, if it trembles me, there's gonna be trouble. Oh, I know, because I'm not going to be happy with the horse if it tramples you. <laughs> so, what did you find, miss? Some weird tracks. Huh. Yeah, it couldn't be me. I don't even ride horse. Nope. I, I ride my car a lot because it's just easier to get around. I mean, that's one way to do it. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, uh, by the way, I'm Mud. Nice to meet you, Miss Mud. I'm Ariel. It's me, Ariel. This is my uncle. Howdy. Uh, Howdy. I'm a proud foot. Uh, I, I'm going to be the, the next barber in town. Uh, as long as I get a business license, which I have a meeting for on Saturday. And I think everything will go all right because I know a lot about hair and hairdos and styles and things. Well, I wish you luck with that. I appreciate you wishing me luck. I haven't really been around too, too much, but... It's nice to see people over. What Hello. was your uh, name in? Ariel Snow. Ariel... Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, I, I didn't quite recognize you. I think it was because last time I saw you, you had your husband's hat. <laughs> sorry, Ariel. Oh, don't worry. If I see him today, I'm going to snatch it off his head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure he won't uh, disapprove, but uh, thanks for at least uh, confirming that for me. <laughs> yeah. Do you need a statement on how I found it or anything? No, I came upon it uh, honestly not that long ago, maybe about 20 or so minutes. So. Okay, I've, so uh, you found it not yep. long. Uh, yeah. Got some notes. So. We're good then. All right. All right, well. Uh, what about uh, are you up to today? Uh, I was just going to see how everyone was. I heard that Archer was around, so I was going to try to see him. Who? Archer. Oh, Archer, your son. Yeah. Yes. Oh, geez. I, I thought no I heard. Worries. I thought I heard a different name. No, no, no. It's like I was about to ask who the fuck is Wilbur, but it works. Wilbur? Yeah, that's what I thought I heard. <laughs> Not gonna lie. What? I don't... Yeah. I feel like you need to clean your ears out. I need to do a lot of things. Are, right. are you thinking of Winston, Winston Valentine, the, the famous musician? Wait, what? What? <laughs> no? Okay. I've been, I've been Valentine for a couple of days. I don't know anyone that's a famous musician. There, well, so. it, well, he came down. He came down to 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 to, to, to Blackwater I just in, yesterday. I if you guys know anything about doctor's office or sheriff's office, I'm looking for both. For who? Well, there's law right there. Oh, well, yeah, I'm a uh, of West Lisbon. Yeah, I'm looking to become a doctor, and I'm practically oh. banging my head against a brick wall on every turn. Okay. Uh, and... Have you telegrammed uh, any doctors recently? I don't know any. Oh well, I have, I know one. I have a very like easy. Uh, I was gonna say I have a very easy telegram number that you can uh, reach out to. Thank fuck. <laughs> What's your name, fella? Alex Brown. Alex Brown. Tell him you know a good barber as well. <laughs> so who's the thing with me? I've been trained as a doctor. I know how to be a doctor. Good point. The fact that I need licensing, and I'm more than yeah, he's a priest. he's a little loud, isn't he? Got a big mouth on his face. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's good. Uh, are you a, are you a hunter, Miss Ariel? Uh, I typically like to hunt. Yes. Is it because of the bow? Uh, it, you you guessed it. 
everyone asks me about that and they're just like, well, how do you know how to hunt with a bow? Well, let me tell you, whenever you have six, to, six fucking brothers, they teach you a few things. Some of those things you don't want to know. <laughs> My brother died, he fell in a loom. Oof. I'm sorry to hear that. It, it, it's the loom the thing they make big um, fancy rugs out of, is that something else? Oh yeah, that's the industrial ones. This wasn't an industrial one, it was just like a house loom. But <laughs> he broke it and, and his wife wasn't happy, so she shot him. Oof. I mean, if he breaks, I, didn't it, I can looking kind for you, of understand because those are a little expensive. Who, what, when? Which madam are you talking to, Alda? Uh, the one to my left on the horse. Oh. Hello? Ariel, those gentlemen are looking for you, apparently. Who's looking for me? No, not you. <laughs> the other one. Not, not you. Why did I get back on you? <laughs> Grace, this makes you wanna help on me. God damn <laughs> Nice to meet you, sir. How's everything going? He talked to Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, everything's going pretty good. How about you? What do you say? Just people talking in the street. I'm being nosy. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm being nosy about what you're being nosy about. <laughs> Snow. You can, uh, uh, Deputy Snow. Wait, what? Yes, you do. Yeah. Right. Well, that was nice. Oh my God! I... You know, I talked to some of them jackdaws the other day. So <laughs> they seemed interested in what I had to offer them. At least they had got pup. Maybe if we get some information, I want it too. But this is the right place for it. We yeah. already seen what them deputy's been doing. I just fucking lost, man. Did, did you tell them about the uh, king asking you if we got robbed? Uh, no, no. No, it didn't. I think that might have happened after. I can't remember uh, the sequence of events now. The yeah, uh, king was asking us if we saw anything or got robbed yesterday. Do you remember? I and remember that. I just don't yeah. remember if it was if, if it happened before or after us I, I met them jackdaw mm. i think it might have been before no after no oh no i can't be sure <laughs> how how are you in hurry ethan oh don't start i was just wondering fine i won't ask you sure you're wondering i can only imagine it has nothing to do with the teasing of the past so. i hope she breaks your fucking heart in a million pieces now what the fuck I'm gonna, light, I'm gonna light another cigarette, so I'm gonna take two steps away. Howdy. Hey, mister. Howdy. How you been? Hey, uh. How's yes. badges? What's your name, mister? I forgot. Oh, we met in Santa Anita, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. My apologies. I'm embarrassed right now. I, I know. I don't want to throw a random name. Yeah, well, it is quite a random name, if you ask me, but it's Herman Proudfoot. I imagine you found the what was that? company out there, Mr. Herman. Oh, what was his name? Oh, uh, the other one. Did, did you did you hear me that time? Yeah. Uh, and you was Reuben, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what? You, you get that barber shop. Uh, Saturday, I have an interview with the clerk of the state, and she's gonna give me if, if I answer all the questions right. I suppose she's gonna give me the license. I can't, can I wait? Now listen, 
She don't give me a license. You give me a, give me a word, and then I'll, I'll talk to her, my way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I it's appreciate that way. very it's much. <laughs> but I, I don't think. Who's this pretty lady there? Oh, my this pretty mud. lady is Mud. She's my niece. Mud. Mud. This oh, is mud. Ruben. Ruben. This is Mud. Nice to meet, meet you. You know what, Who's Ruben? Who's your friend? I, I, what was that? I said, who's your friend over there? Oh, that's uh, Tutabe. He's uh, just met him. Tonobi. Uh, Tonobi. Nice to meet you, Tonobi. Howdy. Uh, you know what? I heard that the docks is paying better now. You tried it recently? No, I haven't. It was... uh. Looking to do that early, but kind of got distracted. Well, I think it might be more worth your time this time. Ooh, I've, I've not done that yet. I might look at it later. Yeah, if you're going over there later, let me know. Uh, you know, work together or something. That'd be good. I think that's the great idea. Maybe I've been better than growing seeds all day, because I've been doing that for the past two days, trying to be off my fine. <sighs> Oh, the farming right there. I mean, you gotta be real dedicated to doing that. Yeah, pain in the ass. Uh, okay, okay. Hopefully you find it soon. Oh, Ruben, why, why are you fishing? Good, though. You'll fish it if you listen to me. <laughs> the fishing is very good here. There's a little cold just outside of Blackwater, and I caught, I caught some beautiful fish. Yeah, I've been in the swamp doing some fishing over there, catching all sorts of things. What you catch? The catfish. Catfish, oh, those wow. uh, pikes and the other ones. They're real wild. They're like uh, mini sharks. Mini sharks? Yeah, I think it's like a bull shark or something. That's very fancy. Oh, I gotta try that sometime. Fuck you, Ranger. Inside, you know, do my routine go pan. Just uh, keep ends meet, gotta pay them damn bills. Mm -hmm. Just do a lot of hunting and farming at the moment, trying to get my money back up because the bank lost all my money. Very irritating. You said what? I uh, just been farming and hunting a lot, trying to get my no, money no, back up. No, no, you said about the bank losing your money. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Like you lost all your money? Mm -hmm. I had an argument with him and he was very upset with me. Damn, you uh, speak to the. Uh, anybody about that? It's fine. It got handled. I just um, won't won't be won't won't be putting my money in Blackwater anymore. <laughs> oh, Blackwater Bank. That oh, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. You gotta you gotta uh, trust the bank in Valentine. Yep. That's where that, that's where I go now. Yeah, it's far, but it's safe. <laughs> It was nice meeting you both. No, yeah, Miss, nice more meeting you. By, uh, Hopefully, I see you over in San Hopefully. Oh, Ruben, where, while you was in Blackwater, do you know where the barber shop is? You should go and have a look. See what I'm, see what I'm uh, hoping to, to get my hands on. I wouldn't expect any less. I'll check it right now. Let's go check. Don't worry about it. When the ride miss, hop on. Oh, thank you. Oh. Um, my... Welcome to what is soon to be known as Herman's Hairdo. Thank you. Come on, have a look. What's, What's the name of it? Herman's Hairdo. It will be Herman's Hairdo by this Saturday if I'm, okay. if I'm lucky. Very nice. 
It's a beauty, right? Oh, damn. Yeah. Look at that. It's already yours. It will be. It will be. Uh, I know it. I just know it in my heart. Got a little makeup station. Got two chairs. I got two hands so I could do snipping. Two people at once. You know how to cut mud? Uh, I think you would be better at quitting than I would. Uh, well, <laughs> can, uh, he can teach you. You know what? I've heard that mud is quite good at cutting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way you can cut the hairs off them hairy ladies' legs. <laughs> oh, but that is one of the perks of my job, sir. No, you think the ladies let you touch their legs? I don't know. <laughs> no. Well, anyway, you you are more than welcome here uh, whenever you feel like your beard is getting too long or, or, or you need a different style or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely be stopping by. I feel like it's growing in already. <laughs> Give me like uh, another week or so. I think you'd look I... handsome with beard. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, maybe I'll grow one. <laughs> well, if you need any styling of that beard, then you know where to come. Yeah. What was your name again, mister? Herman. Oh, I'm messing with you. Got you. Oh, God I damn. got you. God damn. <laughs> oh, I gotta uh, get used Herman. to that. I'm gonna have you to get are... used to that humor, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get you. And don't forget, I got some tales for you. I want you to get. Forget, I got a few tales. Uh, I'm leaving my sleeve for you. Once, once uh, get my cut. I have I not forgotten. You. I have not forgotten that. So either we're gonna see you in San Denis when he's working on the docks, or, or or maybe you'll be coming over here because your beard has grown too unruly. Well, we'll see. To that time. Yeah, I gotta head up. Well, what's up, mud? Um, would you mind if I have your telegram? Uh, yeah, let's head over to the telegram. I don't know. I'll join you there in a minute. You do.
Good lord. Howdy. Howdy, Mr. Fans. How you doing? Mr. Files, did you get my mm. telegram this morning? Possibly, possibly not. I need going to have a look at telegrams. On oh, I thought that's just what you did. I, I apologize. Nope, not yet. Uh, telegrams are currently uh, indisposed. <sighs> I think so. What you're seeing is a whole lot of people waiting for a saloon to open. Quite possibly. That's why I come into town. Get all open and start selling people. At least one, anyway. Yeah, at least one each year. I might shoot me a telegram anytime. I will do. My head out. It, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, pleasure meeting you. <laughs> I, right, Mr. Herman, you be safe. You too, sir. Nope, the last one. I think that man likes me. The last one I received from you was, uh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The last one I received from you was, uh, yesterday. Okay. Well, that is good to know. It, it did, I think there was a mix up in the telegram thing, but, but anyway, uh, I, I'm just trying to get hold of your brother. So, um, if you know when he's going to be around, I, I'd appreciate knowing that. Okay, He'll probably be, I think he might be around later today. I forgot my coat again. I ain't got a coat. Mm. None Could of it fits one. me. You're going to end up with a cold. With a nose like this, you wouldn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of places to stand. Right, There's not. Mm -mm. Would you like me to scoot over? No, it's fine. Okay. Well. It's all right for you. Like, you like can go in the saloon. I'm not allowed in there. <laughs> Sorry. You? I haven't asked. Heading over to the stable for a little bit. If you come out and you can't find me, I'll be in there. Alright. Howdy, mister. Hello. Actually. I'll be right back. Want me to get you something to eat from the saloon? Uh, if you could, that would be lovely. What do you want? Uh, Don't tell me. Whatever's hot. <laughs> if it's too. Yes, please. Thank you, Uncle. It was a little sour earlier, but it's better now. Sour in what way? Uh, just more of the joking. 
there's a lot of joking that you could be referring to then, so it depends on what kind of joking. Uh, relationship stuff. Ah. Let's see. Who, uh, who, who was doing the joking? Uh, <laughs> fucking name it. It's probably everybody in town at this point. It's going to be jumping in on it, but no, nah, it's fine. It was a couple, few couple ribs. Started getting a little more, so I just took a ride. Well, I'm sorry for being a, a participant in that. I'll make sure no, to uh, wind that down. No, you're, it's fine. A couple jokes here and there is okay. When it starts getting too much, I'll start saying something. Yeah, do, do. But uh, how are you feeling since the uh, last time I saw you? Oh, I'm feeling all right. I need these uh, stitches taken out, I think. Mm. I'm getting antsy. You know, shot a gun <laughs> earlier. They held up pretty well, but yeah, you know, I think I'm ready for it. Uh, uh, can I get either of you two any drink or food? I am pretty good for the moment. Uh, as soon as it changes, I'll let you know. You want a beer? I'll, I'll take two beers and, yeah. and a couple of stews if if you got some. Two hard. beers, two stews. I think I might just need to go and heat it up. Bear with me. Do you know of anyone that needs uh, Yarrow, Jacob? Uh, natives do, I believe. Yeah. How much spice do you want? You want it very spicy or not that spicy? Very spicy, please. All right. Bo in both. A spicy beer? No, in both stew. Oh, in both stews. All right, yeah. I was going to say. All right, what's your looking number? 55. How much you want for that? Uh, that will be uh, five, ten, sixteen dollars, please. Well, thank you, you so much. much. No, I appreciate, I appreciate you. It. Oh no, no, I appreciate you. Well, we'll both appreciate each other, then, huh? Well, I, I was trying to appreciate you first, but well, cool. that's it. Yeah, that, that I appreciate you trying to appreciate me first. There you go. How about well, that? I think it's very nice <laughs> that you appreciate me. It it is most certainly. Hello. Get away from me.
You like beer as well? Hmm? Sure. Free beer. <laughs> it's just bad, bad weather today. It's raining like crazy. Thank you. I will pay you back when I get back up to Valentine and get I'm some money out. I'm not having fucking one of them goddamn episodes again. Is and of a... course I am, apparently. Fucking hell. Hmm? Is that I the voice of Marcus Fire? Yes, he's very loud and he's in there. Messy. Oh. But yeah. Oh, well, I've been doing a bit loud. Uh, uh, howdy. Uh, am I interrupting? I, I, I want to I no. speak to you, Marcus. So if you, oh. if you, uh, I, I can wait until you finish your business. Oh no, oh, no we're, we're just having normal talks. Yeah, we can leave. You're about to leave out anyway. Oh goodness, I don't have that impression on Good. some people. I oh, I, I, I have been told that, that you are the person to speak to if you, if someone is looking for for a, uh, a, a personalized pair of scissors. Oh yeah, I can get you one of them. How you doing, Miss Mud? You yeah, can? You get my book out. Yeah, give me your chance. Now, I'm, I might only be able to pay it next week, so... Oh, that's fine. Well, I'm not going to have the iron until at least Friday. Uh, let me see how much it is right now. Uh, the price would be twenty dollars. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I am I willing. If you can bring me a bunch of hardwood, I'd be also willing to help pay over for that. We are desperately need a hardwood right now. Hmm. Yeah, uh, that is mine, usually I'd pay fifty cents for hardwood. I'll pay a dollar for hardwood now. Okay, so you, you want at least 20, 20 hardwood, or or whatever amount of combination money and hardwood is fine. Okay, well that is that is wonderful. All right, I I, I will I will try and do that. Oh, oh yes, I have I have a quest now. Oh, I appreciate you very much, Mister Fine. That's no problem. And, and all your family. Mm -hmm. Yes, because spring is very, very rainy with the occasional, ah, oh, yes, it's a sunny day. <laughs> we were lucky. No, it's going to be raining again. God damn it, I just got off the porch, god damn it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm about to head to... I think I'm going to go and lay, lay my head down. Okay. You be safe, Uncle. Stay safe, my dear. I will do. Nice to see you, folks. Nice and a pleasant you evening. You too. Flynn, let's go to the board. Madam. Oh, no. 
up plenty of gang. We'll start that ball rolling. My castle rocking. Run on by.